The science goal of this lab is to measure the thickness of the Earth's atmosphere. We actually have a super secret technical goal, which is to get you to use your phone's sensor suite and the Firefox app to collect numerical data and then analyze it with a spreadsheet program. The subject of today's analysis is the Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere is a thin layer of gas that is held close to the Earth by the gravitational attraction of the planet. In this NASA image here on the left, you can see how thin the atmosphere is relative to the curvature of the Earth. The physics of the atmosphere is such that the gas pressure is supporting the weight of all of the layers above it. And if we solve out the physics of that scenario, we get that the pressure follows an exponential scale law that you see here, where the pressure, P of Z, at an altitude Z is falling off like an exponential. And the characteristic scale of that exponential is given by the variable H. We call H the scale height of the atmosphere, and it is the goal of this lab to find the value of this. Solving the full exponential equation can be difficult, so we are going to use an approximate solution that is valid if Z1 and Z0 are close to each other, so they are separated by a small distance. We're going to simply measure the pressure at these two different altitudes and use this approximate form to find the scale height. To carry out this experiment, you're going to need two pieces of equipment. You'll need your smartphone running the Firefox app, and you're going to need something to measure distance. In this case, I'm just using a construction tape measure, but you can use a ruler, a meter stick, whatever you have available, because we're going to have to measure the distance between the two locations where we collect pressure data. To collect the pressure data, place your phone on the floor with the Firefox app running. Go ahead, start the data collection. While the data is collecting, you can take about 10 seconds for it to get enough samples for a reliable measure of the pressure. Then, without pausing the data, take the phone and place it up at a height above it. It has to be at least 1 to 2 meters for most barometers to measure the pressure difference between the two locations. After it's done collecting the data, you can pause the collection and export the data, as we'll show you in the next segment of the video. But before you leave your experimental setup, what you're going to need to do is measure the distance between the two locations you collected your data. So in this case, I'll just measure it from the floor up to this windowsill here, and I see that that's about 71 inches. I'm going to need to convert that distance into centimeters or meters to carry out this and get an answer in kilometers. But for now, we have all the information we need for the first experiment. To collect data for this experiment, we will use the Firefox app. After installing the app on your phone, open up the app, it will show you a warning, and then it will show you access to all the sensors that are available on your phone and several physics experiments you can conduct with those sensors. We are going to get pressure using raw data from the barometer. Many phones don't have a barometer inside them. In that case, if that's grayed out, just use the data that are available on eClass. To collect data for this experiment, simply set your phone on the ground and press the play button. The phone will start collecting data at a rate of about one sample every second. Just go ahead and wait Sometime, let it collect about 10 samples while it's on the floor, and when you're done, lift it up and place it above the floor by a distance of one to two meters. You should be able to see the phone collecting data. When you are done, press the pause button to stop collecting data and then select the three dot menu in the upper right hand corner and go ahead and say share data or export data. You'll want to export it as a CSV file, which is the second option. Go ahead and hit the export data and it'll open up your phone's sharing interface. For example, through AirDrop here on my phone. Transfer the data to a computer and you'll be able to uh, go ahead and complete the analysis there. To analyze the data, go ahead and load it into a spreadsheet program. It comes in in two columns, 
time is measured in seconds and pressure here in hectopascals. It is read off in engineering notation, so 1.04 EOO means 1.04 times 10 to the 0, or here it's encoded as 1.037915 seconds. Uh, the pressure is also measured here in hectopascals to fairly high precision, and I find that it's most useful for this to go ahead and create a chart. So go ahead and select insert a chart, and I find it's always good for physics data to use a scatter chart. And this very helpfully starts the y-axis here at zero, and so the changes in pressure are negligible. You can't really see it. So we have to go into custom eyes and hit the axis labels, and just go ahead, in my case, I'm gonna type in 927, and that's gonna show me maybe 927.5, and that's gonna show me the uh, range of the data. So we have this top range here, uh, that corresponds to when the phone is on the floor, and then this bottom range here corresponds to when the phone was on the uh, windowsill, a distance of 1.8 meters higher. So we can go ahead and look at these two ranges, and I just read down at sort of the time uh, from about maybe six seconds out to about uh, 37 seconds when it's up here at the uh, higher pressure value. And so I can go ahead and calculate the pressure values from about six seconds down to about 37 seconds. So this is the range of data that I want to analyze. And I calculate that by doing an average of that range. So that range on down to about here. And this value um, is going to give me uh, the uh, number that I want. Unfortunately, it's not really shown in a number that I can see, so I'm going to have to go ahead and change uh, this format to uh, be a number, and that's going to show that the value is 9.2803, and if I want more decimal places, I just click that out uh, there. So that's my average pressure for the high value, and then I can carry out a similar operation for the low value. And if I want an uncertainty, I want to take the standard deviation, which is STDEV of the same range, so from about there down to the 37, and that'll give me my error value, which is really tiny, 0.008. So my pressure measurement here is 928.030 plus or minus uh, 0 0.008. So that's the value in hectopascals. So you can use this as your pressure and error measurements. So that's it. With a mobile phone and a tape measure, we can figure out how far away space is. Go ahead and make your measurements, complete your analysis, and upload your resulting data to eClass, and then there you'll answer a couple questions about the lab, and you'll be done. Thanks for watching.